Hi guys, it's Carlos, the Ultimate Fitness Trainer once again, and thank you so much for watching the video. And today we're doing a video about the importance to exercise while on holiday. Now, I'm going to give you five reasons um, that are going to justify why you should still do some exercise while on holiday while relaxing. Okay, now, number one is your body needs some sort of activity while on holiday. Let's say you go on holiday for two weeks. Okay, you need to break down the routine, you need to relax, you need to chill out, you need to spend time with your loved ones, and you need to t basically break the whole routine you've had, okay? Now, one thing you need is some sort of relaxation as well as some sort of activation. Now, the reason why you need to exercise is the same reason why you need to have breakfast every single day. Now, you wouldn't just have breakfast one day, for the rest of your life and never have breakfast again. So it means that you need constant fueling. Okay, same thing with exercise. We all need exercise, some form of exercise. Some people need to lift uh, loads of weight, some people need to run, some people need to walk, some people need to, to do um, swimming, some people need to do football, some need to do whatever you want to do. We need exercise and we are built to exercise. So that's the reason why we need to do an exercise in order to become our greatest versions. Now, the reason why we need to exercise is to keep the nutrients and the body and the blood flowing all around our bodies. Now, what happens is this, when you stop uh, exercising, your body becomes very stagnated and this causes all sorts of problems like uh, stiff joints, uh, it causes you to become a little bit depressed and sluggish and, and it makes you feel like shit really. Uh, so I'd never advise for someone to go on all and not, not obviously exercise. Okay, number two is it, it releases serotonin. So while you exercise, obviously exercising, um, it releases serotonin which is a good feel hormone in your brain. So therefore, what it is like a biological need. So exercise is a biological need. So you need to exercise. So because it releases serotonin, it makes you feel really, really good. Now, number three is um, it basically lubricates and mo mobilizes your joints. So while on holiday, obviously you're gonna relax, okay? Uh, exercise, like to give you an example, like you can relax by doing some sort of a yoga. Now, for instance, say, I just woke up in the morning and I just give myself a big stretch. That's in form of exercise. Some people might think, oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So exercising, twisting and turning and reaching, that's some form form of exercise. So therefore it makes you feel good. So therefore, just by doing that, it's gonna help you have a better holiday. It's gonna help you feel better, it's gonna help you to become stronger, fitter, healthier, happier version of yourself. Which then leads to number four is uh, exercise 30 to 40 minutes. So that's what breaks down the routine, okay? It's not about exercising, being in the gym for an hour and a half, two hours, three hours, like you probably normally do. Um, being in the gym for about 30 minutes, so even outside, like I do when I go on holiday, okay? As an example, I'm sure you guys see it on Instagram, uh, Carlos Trainer 10, uh, when I posted some, some of the videos like, Little workouts, little circuits, three or four exercises, five, six, maximum 10 sets. Um, and basically I do that in 30 minutes, 40 minutes, that's it. You know, 30 minutes, you know, anyone could spend 30 minutes, you know, looking at nothing, you know? And 30 minutes goes like that. So it just keeps the momentum going. And number five is, it basically makes you healthier, stronger, more powerful, happier, healthier, and overall strength of yourself so it's becoming your greatest version and that's why we should exercise on holiday and becomes a ritual for you and makes you become your greatest version and basically there you are the reasons why we should exercise while on holiday as i said i advise someone to have maybe exercise if you go on monday monday tuesday rest on wednesday thursday friday rest on saturday sunday morning exercise again rest on tuesday and and just keep the momentum going. And then when you come back from all of it, you've had a good time, you feel refreshed, you, you don't feel as if it's a massive, massive, massive marathon to run when you get back into it. Because if you don't do nothing for two weeks, what tends to happen is the next week you're absolutely anxious to come back into the gym and you're gonna feel like crap. Your workouts are not gonna be that good and it's not a great experience. And that's why it sometimes puts people off from actually coming back into training or even like coming back from all of the kids. You think, oh, I'm gonna restart all over again. It's really good to chill out, but also do a little bit. Imagine like if you're uh, level 10, you go back to level say four, 
on all of that, do a little bit, and then get back to level 10 again. Okay, guys? And that's very, very important to do that in order to help you become your greatest version. So, as you guys know, I'm here to help you guys and help me become our greatest version. Uh, make sure, obviously, and before I say make sure, uh, thanks for all the su subscribers and also uh, all the support you guys are giving us um, on our website, also on our, on our YouTube channel, and also on Instagram. Uh, and you know where to find me on Instagram, Carlos Trainer 10, on my YouTube channel, which is Carlos Trainer, and on my website, which is ultimatefitnesstraining.co.uk. And with all that said, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay fit. Have a beautiful day. Take care.